It's a brilliant day in the footpath community. Here we are, 317, the yellow team, the team Silver Yankee. DB group, and we are going to be rating 20 of Derbyshire's finest footpaths. And we're going to be ranking them and seeing where it is you want to be going in the countryside of Yorkshire. And what else Let's. Peter O'Brien can improve throughout the greener, happier Derbyshire? Let's go. Go on. Here we go. Corporal Drury on our lovely first footpath of the day. We're rating this one a 7 out of 10 because down there it's well signed, well paved. However, the terrain is a bit. Look right. at this. Straight fact. This wall. Ah, a bit rubbish. Footpath. Let's walk down it. <laughs> right, ladies and gentlemen, I would say what are we rating that? What are we rating seven. that footpath? Rating that footpath. Seven out of solid ten. seven out of ten. Uh, there were sheep along the way. It was a solid, well structured footpath with wonderful signage. Uh, it was a little bit slippy, it was on the slippier side, um, but there's nothing we couldn't get through. So yeah, an excellent footpath, 7 out of 10. Guys, this is extremely panicked because Worsley are behind us. This is the second footpath. Here's the footpath. And uh, it's a very great footpath. I'd, I'd, I'd probably rate it a 6, 6 probably. It's got no, nothing special. There's some nice sheep. I almost fell over. There's some nice sheep. Right, it's a well-structured path. Um, yeah, nothing special, so 6 out of 10. It's uh, descended into chaos. It's actually horrible, uh, and we're downgrading it to a 5. So, shame on you, Footpath 2. We just found out it's maintained by Edale Primary School. Now, personally, Edale Primary School, I think you should be ashamed of yourselves. Because, because this footpath is not very well maintained at all, honestly. How have you put your name on this? You've you branded yourselves. It's, it's horrendous. I'm getting rid of them. It's comedy gold. You can see our next footpath. It's a lovely little secluded place. It's got a nice canopy for hot summer days. If it's too warm, come down here. I'm going to give this one a solid 7 out of 10. The scenery on this one is beautiful. However, the gate is difficult to open. The terrain is slightly damp and muddy, but that may be the time of year. In summertime, this would be the perfect place to hang out with family and friends. So, footpath four. Where is it? In this large industrial estate of nothingness. There is a small footpath leading down into the depths. Now, as we explore this footpath, it is clear that this is a pure six out of ten. Now, footpath four. What makes it a six out of ten? Bang average. It's flat, but there is things on either side. So if you're walking in groups, single file, or tripness. That's all I've got to say. Thank you. It's gone downhill, quite literally. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, the terrain is not looking good. It's, uh, it's gone significantly worse. And you know, actually, I think you were being quite harsh before. When you no. said it was a six, but I, I think it's definitely a six. Oh, I almost fell over. I think it's definitely a six now. I think that six was well justified. I think actually what it was is you actually saw the path ahead. You were like a fortune teller and you knew what it would be. Oh! What's that noise? I swear it's the river telling me this path is terrible. Six out of ten for this. Is it getting downgraded? I've only got three things to say. Three, outer, ten. Smith, what do you think about this? Looks very natural, no fake touristy stuff. I'll, I'll be right back. Right. <laughs> People can complain about the rocks all they want, but at the end of the day, it's just more traction. Very controversial opinion from our good man, Smithy. Oh, sugar bullets. That's based. why this path is bad. Absolutely based. Absolutely based. Bro, bro chose violence, welcome chose violence. Based on Right, we're here on the side of Lady Bower Reservoir. What a beautiful place. We've got the Worsley Sprogs, just a few metres down there. I lie, it's not a few metres. You shouldn't have turned the camera because you exposed my lie. Anyway, back over there is our footpath. Now, first thing to note, the footpath, right, it's not wonderful, okay? There are a few little areas that, you know, a bit hard to walk on. Say so what? I would say it makes up for it with this wonderful view. Ow, just hit myself. This wonderful view that we've got. 
and you know what, I think it really complements the path quite well. And if we just move over here, so we can get a closer look at the path. Now, the majority of the path, okay, so it's well marked out, you can see where you're going. And for the most part, the terrain is quite solid, right? However, if you do look, there's a bit of flooding, which is not ideal, it gets a bit boggy, boots get a little bit dirty. You know, it's not wonderful, but I think, to be completely honest, where are you going to beat this view, realistically? Pan out, pan out. As you can see here, we are on footpath number five. Facts. I'm going to give this a solid eight out of ten, purely because nice wide pathway. You can fit your whole group of boss. No one's left out. Okay. It's quite nice terrain, however, it is slightly muddy. No. If it's too warm, you will not overheat and die. <laughs> this one can't put really anything to add. Well, this path here is my ideal picture of an eight out of ten path. We've got you beautiful scenery there. The mountains, the hill. There's a nice scenery narrowing in here. We've got lovely noise from the birds amongst the trees and the lovely noise of my voice. Thank you for talking to me. Instant ten out of ten. We have seen a two of these animals so far made out of wood and beautiful friends. Instant 10 out of 10. The path itself has got a bit of doo-doo on it, but that is no matter because we've got beautiful animals. There's a little right there. Let's go. It's a sad day in the footpath community. Unfortunately, we've stumbled upon this disgrace of a footpath right here. Now, if you look over there, you'll see that there's a very visible style. However, the rest, the rest of this footpath is nowhere to be seen. Quite frankly, I don't think that's good enough. Personally, I'm disgusted. And I'm only rating this footpath a 3 out of 10. <gasps> because you know what? I'm not having it. At all. Thoughts. Disgraceful. Thoughts. He's, he's speechless. That's yeah, what right. this footpath has done to him. Honestly. Honestly, man. So... This footpath here, it looks like it's got a fair bit of rock on it. Some people might not like it, but decent boots, all it is is just good grip. Very terrain, decent access. Overall, I reckon you could get vehicles across it very well. It seems the intended purpose for the tire marks. Overall, I'd give it a solid 7 out of 10. Amen. Preach. No Preach. Look around and see this beautiful scenery which is spoiled. I saw the footpath. Now, I'm going to give it a 2 out of 10 for reasons I'm about to explain. The path is decent, but it's what's coming into the path that's annoying me. As you can see down that path, a lot of overgrown, very nasty looking leaves, nettles, and all that jazz. If I put my hand in here, got stung by a nettle, didn't actually, just for entertainment purposes. But yeah, for the reasons of which I stated, 2 out of 10 path. Fox? The gate is also difficult to get into, it's a spring gate. Very true, very true, very true. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, here we are on footpath 10. Okay, so this footpath, straight off the bat, is getting a high rating. I mean, look at it, right? So what? The terrain is not, it's not perfect by any means, but it's absolutely walkable. You're not sinking. It's very clear, very well signed. And the biggest upside is right next to us, we've got a beautiful flowing river. That's just making this a wonderful 8 out of 10 footpath. Farts. Couldn't agree more. Same Jay. Honestly guys, no words can describe what we've just seen. There was... I, I, I can't even speak. Someone else, someone else. The state of my trousers. Shocking. Look at the state of my trousers. Wordless. Honestly. Aside from the fact we had to take a slight detour because the stepping stones were gone, the path itself was muddy, dis mantled discombobulated. discombobulated half the path was just in the river and then the stepping stones that we were supposed to cross are like a foot under the water and so we have to we have to take like a massive detour now the train's shouting at us i don't like it um, i would shout at us too honestly I, uh, words I words words me. don't cover it words don't cover speechless. it speechless it's disgusting another footpath we're gonna give this one a solid four out of ten for the reasons i'll state now the angle that we're currently on is 
fairly steep. It's not very convenient. And you cannot see the footpath. It, aside from light trampling on the grass, it's not there. However, the views make up for all of that. Look at how beautiful that is. You've got some man trying to strangle a cow in that field. You've got some cows mooing over there. Overall, it's pretty nice. But still, the terrain and the visibility, four out of ten. Hey guys, welcome back to the Footpath Review, and here we're in this standard edge. Now guys, I gotta tell you man, this path is unreal, you know. This is a pyramidal peak. You know what a pyramidal peak is? This. And we're gonna be walking across this thing here, you know. And we're gonna be worried. But, that doesn't matter for now, because we're here, on this little path. Footpath number 13. Unlucky number, but the sides are very lucky to be held upon us. So, this footpath deserves an 8 out of 10. It goes uphill over there, a mixture of hill, up, down, you know, we don't really like that. But here, very lovely, and um, the view is just incredible, so other than that, 8 out of 10, purely amazing. Standard Judge, here we come. Anything from uh, you fellas? You guys over there? Holiday. Thank you for listening to my review, I'll see you later. Sheffield and Rotherham, Yorkshire Water, Wildlife Trust, Red Myers Reservoir. So, in this reservoir, you can find all sorts of wildlife, such as this beautiful animal here. And this footpath just handrails it very nicely. But what's not nice is the path itself. Look at how disgusting the terrain is, how overgrown it is around it. Looks like someone you've seen in Ukraine at the moment. What the? Uh, where is? And uh, we did so good, we did so great, we did so great, we did so fun. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna give it a 6 out of 10, bang average. Scenery is decent, wildlife, decent, water, don't know if it's decent, but yeah. Thank you, Dick. Any of you guys? to be specific. And you know what? What a beauty it is. If you look ahead, absolutely what you expect a footpath to be. Perfectly marked out. The ground's not blocky. Perfectly grippy. And you know what? The scenery is not too bad either. Now, it was completely well signposted. There was an adjacent path that was, you know, you, you maybe could have got a bit less done. But aside from that, this is a quintessential British footpath. And you know what? What really more could you ask for? Thoughts? Good, good, good question. Personally, I think it's bloody lovely. I'm not sure if uh, we'll get a big smith on here because you need to go to the toilet real bad. But <laughs> yeah, pretty decent footpath to be honest. I see you now at footpath number 17, footpath one of day three. Solid seven out of 10 footpath, good scenery, we're pretty high up. It's a nice breeze on a lovely day. The footpath itself is quite rough, but it gives a bit of grip. The only thing that brings it down is the steepness of that. If you fall down, you're not coming back up. It's fair to say. Solid seven out of 10 footpath, so anything to add, gentlemen? Simba. Simba. We have a frog in a mug. 
There is literally a frog in the mug. Welcome back to the Great British Countryside, where we are on footpath 18 of our Silver Deer V Expedition, day three. Now, so the first impression you get of this path is that it's quite well defined. I mean, it could be slightly well uh, signposted. Let's go and ask the other team what they think of this footpath. Hello, Orange Team. What do you think of this footpath? This footpath is mediocre. It's kind of grassy, got some stones to it, some mud, but it's walkable. My feet don't hurt too much. I would say probably a 6 out of 10 maximum. What do you think, Evans? Is is is? No, I'd say an 8 out of 10 because it's very hard to get on. It's very muddy to get on, but when you're on it, it's easy to walk. Varied opinions. That's excellent. Now, you see, that's, that's the beauty of footpath in that people have all sorts of different perspectives on them. Um, however, we are going to give it a solid 6.5 out of 10. Good footpath. In. Good footpath 19. Now, the terrain is decent, but up there, it was very hard to get over. So usually, we get that a very low score, but just look at this exceptional view in here, and all of it really, it's just beautiful, beautiful. So I'm actually gonna give this an eight out of 10, an awfully high score, even though it was very, very hard to get over. But honestly, if you were here right now, you'd understand, it's beautiful, it's amazing. Anything to add? Poetic. Poetic. Smith, what are we saying? Sweet. If this was Riz, it'd be poetic. Welcome to the 20th and final footpath. No matter 20! That we're reviewing. Woo! Oh, okay. We just had a flyover. Apache just flew right over and our Apache head. Apache did just the video, will, the video will be put in, man. I'll send the video in. It's sick, man. No, it's not, it's so good. It was pretty crazy. Yes, and so now we're on our 20th and final footpath of our Woo! Derbyshire footpath review. And you might be a bit disappointed because it's not technically a footpath, but it is, oh, it is just it. incredible. Like the views, man, just unreal. We're here on the bridge at Lady Bar Reservoir. Over there was where we ate lunch yesterday. Day one, man. Day one, day one. Oh, yeah, yeah, we stay on day one. And then now, this feels so rewarding. Just being here. Here at God, here back Marvel, at Lady full Bower. Circle. Full circle and finishing just over there. Somewhere over there. The car park. Yeah. Oh, man, that's the car park, that's it. It's crazy. And then we gotta fly over and everything man. And then we'll uh, we'll we'll wrap this up when we get there. It's very windy on here, but honestly, maybe because it's the end, maybe because of the views, whatever. This footpath is, real is yeah, a 10 out of 10. This is a 10 out of 10. There's more mambas as well. There's no mambas. You can put your feet up, man. Put your feet up. Cue the fly over. Yeah! It is a terrible day in the footpath community. We've seen some abysmal footpaths out there, but also, We've seen some exceptional examples of just what the past should be. What do you have to say about this? It's been an interesting one. Over the past three days, we've seen some great things, some bad things, some mediocre things. But overall, it's been all right. It's been a very hilly experience for all of us, viewers especially, and for us, the ones rating. A big thank you to my co-filmers, Big Smith, co-filmers, Big Smith, Alex and Gray. We've been a great team. And we hope we've entertained you in some way. Cheap off on. I think Finn. for some final words, we need to go. The Smith, Smith. Our footpath expert. And overall, the footpaths have had a natural feel to them, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. And before you can go, yeah. you just also do me a favour and why to fuck my shoe free for Michael's more. Nike kicks. Whoa! Whoa! That was so fire!
<sighs> what a lovely pot. pot <laughs> Our feet. Bro, come over here, come over here. Check out my new shoes. They're the brand new. One, two, three.